It's that time of the month and you prepare to put on about five pounds and struggle to lose it for the rest of the month. This has literally been the story of my life, but the struggle is over. You can watch all the TikToks in the world telling you to be more disciplined or to live like that girl. But when that time of the month comes, it's like a switch flips and suddenly you find yourself drawn to sugary snacks like vampire is the blood. But don't worry, your girl's got you here. Instead of giving you a lecture on being more disciplined, I want to share practical strategies that no one talks about. They're scientifically proven and they've personally helped me and my clients. And the best part is that they allow you to eat more without worrying about gaining any body fat. The four secrets I'm about to share with you guys will revolutionize the way that you eat on your period. It will have you automatically crave less food and never feel guilty. I promise you that. So if you're ready, let's grab healthy snacks and let's dive in. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Seppi and I'm passionate about health, nutrition, weight loss and living with ADHD. As someone who has personally lost over 50 pounds and understands the challenges of living with ADHD, I'm excited to share my experiences, knowledge and tips with you guys to help you on your own health journey. My videos are all about providing practical, evidence-based information and strategies that you can implement into your daily life to improve your health, optimize your nutrition, manage your weight and thrive with ADHD. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. It helps me a lot so I really appreciate that. Let me get one thing straight. When you are in your luteal phase, which is 12 to 14 days before you get your period, there is no such a thing as discipline to help us stay away from binging. Unless if you're motivated because you're gonna pose naked for a magazine or post a picture on your Instagram that your millions of followers will see. No one has that kind of motivation to say no to that pint of ice cream when they are on their period. So please, please don't feel guilty. It is totally normal to be craving high sugar and fatty food during this time. And again, it's very normal if you don't. As women, we're all designed differently. This research shows that one group of women increase their metabolic rate by two to four percent, and this other group of women increase it by 11.8 percent. It proves that we are all different, and you can guess which group I belong to. And that's why I'm making this video. The key point of this research is is that yes, absolutely, we do increase our BMR so we can get away with an extra snack and still maintain our weight after our period. But the problem is that we're not happy with that tiny little bit of snack. Like this article suggests on the McGill University website, three fourths of a Kit Kat bar, are you kidding me? I don't remember the last or the first time that I actually could divide that Kit Kat bar in three fourths, have it and be happy with it. We can be content with that, can be? I certainly can. So whether we like it or not, science shows that our bodies are are going through a lot of activities during this time of the month and as a result we are craving more food. Let's talk about real strategies to help us stay on track with our weight loss goals. Strategy number one, about two weeks before you get your period and I really hope that you guys are tracking your period. If you're not, make sure you download an app, enter your information there so you know when your cycle is starting and when it's ending. So two weeks before your period, I want you to fast for 18 hours for three days. If you can't do 18, make sure to do day one, 16 hours, 17 hours for day two, and 18 hours for day three. This is right before your progesterone level starts increasing and making you super hungry. Fasting can actually be used as a tool here to regulate your ghrelin hormones. And if you do this before your period, you're giving your system a reset and you will have a much better and easier time to control your appetite during your luteal phase. If you need tips on fasting, make sure you check out the videos that I posted in the description below. And I promise if you do this properly, you will have a much, much easier time. I've seen it work over and over again for myself and a lot of other women. I got a lot of good and positive feedback. That's why I wanted to list it as the first strategy here on this video. Make sure you're filling your stomach with low calorie food and you're never hungry during this period. Six meals a day strategy works exceptionally well because you're eating every two to three hours and never have to stay hungry during long hours. When you're trying to be disciplined, eat less and stay hungry for a long time. On the other hand, your high progesterone level is making you even hungrier than normal. So it's only a matter of time that you're gonna break down. And when you break down, you're gonna want sugary food and carbs. Don't worry about weight loss or being disciplined during this week at all. Take it from me. The more you worry, the harder you will crash. Just focus on eating more of the food that is in your plan. The best strategy is to eat every two to three hours. You can get away with increasing the food that is already in your plan, as opposed to adding extra and introducing new foods to your diet.
it. The key point here is not snacking between your meals. Make sure you're eating every two to three hours. If you are craving something, you can definitely replace the meal that you're having right now with this snack that you have in mind. And you can download my sugar-free recipe and the snacks that I like to make at home from the description below. It's absolutely free. What I want you to do, if you're craving a snack, wait three hours, don't eat your next meal, and instead have that snack. My favorite snacks that I make at home is oat milk plus chocolate powder and stevia. I love diet sodas. They're not the healthiest options, but they will kill your cravings for a few hours shakes that you can do milk and berries they're low calories and full of antioxidants and they're nutritious and they have the least amount of sugar compared to other fruits you can also add some ice and protein powder and make it into an ice cream so the whole point of this entire strategy is to have you eat a lot of your own food so you're so full that you're not craving more carbs and sugar as long as the food is a part of your plan as long as you're making the snacks at home if you increase your calories you will lose the water weight within three days. You will not be adding any body fat. I promise you that. So stick to the foods that is in your plan and you will be perfectly fine. I want you to know if your doctor tells you that you're not low on any vitamins, it absolutely doesn't mean that you're not low on any vitamins. They only care about the levels of vitamin that affect your life and your health. For example, you might not be experiencing weakness or headaches or dizziness, but you could still be low on iron if you care about your hunger levels and energy levels. So we must make sure we're on top of our nutrition, especially during this time of the month. Obviously, you have to be eating whole nutritious food and be on top of all of your vitamins. But if you're not a stay at home wife and you're not getting your nails done every single day, you might not be focused on all the vitamins that you need every single day. So here's why I want you to pay attention to three specific crucial vitamins during your luteal phase. You want to keep an eye on your vitamin D, B12, and iron. When you wake up, you want to have your B12 and your iron with a glass of water. You want to have your vitamin D with your food and hopefully it has some fat in it, maybe some fish or avocado that helps it absorb a lot better. You also want to keep an eye on your omega-3 fatty acid intake, which is going to help with your serotonin level. The higher your serotonin, the better your mood, and the better your mood, the less you will be craving carbs during this time, which is going to bring me to my fourth strategy during this phase our progesterone levels is high estrogen is low you will have lower serotonin levels higher prolactin and some studies suggest that we're more insulin sensitive and on top of that our cortisol levels are higher than usual and this all means one thing craving more food and snacks trust me knowing this shouldn't discourage us it should encourage us to learn how our bodies work so we can work with it not against it when i was younger i was trying to push weight loss and i thought i was so powerful because I could work out as hard as I was during the month during my period too and my period wasn't affecting me little did I know I was working against my body so I learned the hard way and that's why I'm making this video to share with you guys that maybe your body is telling you something maybe there's a reason that your body is telling you to slow down if you continue to exercise the same way you did during the month you will push your cortisol levels it will be higher you will lower your serotonin level and at the end of the day you're denying your body the time it needs to recover and bring you back to the same level as you were before. So you will experience a lot of hunger, fatigue once you're done with your period as well. My strategy is if you're working out, make sure you lower your weights. Do more yoga and activities that increase your serotonin levels like dancing and walking so you're craving less carbs. If you're going through a stressful time, take the time to meditate and unwind before you go to bed. Make sure you do salt baths or listen to music that is within the range of between 60 to 80 beats per minute. For me, it means stop listening to Eminem and Netflix. So to summarize, fast before your luteal phase, switch to eating every two to three hours, make sure you stick to your meal plan and recipes, fill up on low calorie snacks, avoid intense workouts, and make sure you do things that help you relax. I promise you will not be gaining any fat during this period. You will notice some bloating during this phase, which is a sign of health. It's beautiful. When the bloating is gone, you're going to feel great and you might notice some progress as well. I hope you loved this video. If you did, make sure you like it, subscribe and share it with a friend. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.